Today I'm going to show you how to use the Simply Clothing Pack as a library to create outfits like these in just a few minutes, all in Blender and without cloth simulation. First, let me show you how to install the asset library. Once you downloaded the zip file, extract it. And here you can see all the contents that are included. Copy this file path. Go back into Blender. Go to Edit, Preferences, File Paths. Press the plus icon. Paste your file path. Here you can only see the thumbnails, but the blend files are in here. Add the asset library. And if you go back in here, you can see the blend files are in here. Open the asset browser. Select the clothing pack. Here you can see all the assets that are included. In total, there are over 200 clothing and accessory assets. Okay, now let me show you how to recreate this outfit. For that, we need a hoodie, some pants and shoes. First, let's return the character into an A or T pose. I recommend to work on a T-Pose, because all the assets come in a T-Pose. But for this video, I'm going to show you how to do it in an A-Pose. From here, you can just drag and drop all the assets that you want. Here on the side, you have the different categories to make everything more organized. Let's go into Woman Clothing, then Gothic, and let's choose this hoodie. Press Alt and G to return it to its origin point. And just roughly place it like so. Maybe scale it up or down a bit. Then just go into sculpt mode. And here you can modify the shape of the clothing. For the sleeves, I'm going to use the pose brush. Here you can see what it does. To get the whole sleeve, you can just scroll down a bit, zoom out and move the whole sleeve. Here it's best to select the mirror, so that it moves both sleeves at the same time. For these parts, I usually just use the Elastic Deform Brush. To make it easier, I would suggest to turn on the X-ray. That way you can see the body underneath. And then just drag it around to make it not intersect with the body. Alright, that's looking good. Now we can add the pants. Go into the sports category and let's choose these. For that you need to go back into object mode and just drag them in. Let's do the same thing again. To make it easier, just isolate both and repeat the whole process. Remember to turn on the mirror and the x-ray. Another useful brush is the smooth brush. Or you can just stay in your original brush and hold shift to smooth out areas. That's very helpful for the waist area for example if you want to get it closer to the body. Just move it down and drag it up a bit. Okay, now these fit too. Now we see the hood is intersecting with the pants a little bit. We can fix that very fast. Just hover above the hoodie and press Alt and Q. That way it will switch to the hoodie in scalp mode. And you can go back to the pants the same way. And now we just adjust the hoodie a little bit again. And 
And here we go. Now we can add the shoes. Now it's pretty much the same process again. You can also adjust them in edit mode. And for that it's best to use the proportional editing, but it's the easiest to do in scroll mode. For the shoes it's very helpful to have multiple face sets. You can see the different colors, each one is a separate face set. You can turn them on on the brush and face sets. If face sets is not enabled it's going to modify everything at the same time. And if you turn face sets on you will only modify one color at a time. If, for example, I want to move everything at once, just turn it off. You can also make your own facets. Let me show you real quick. Sometimes it's very helpful to have the sleeves as a separate facet. You can do that in edit mode. Just select the whole sleeve. In face mode you can just hover over a part you want to select and press L. Just select everything you want to be the same color. Then go back into scalp mode, face set and face set from edit mode selection. And there we go. If it's turned off it's going to move the whole thing. If you turn it on it's going to move only the sleeves. Okay, now let me show you how to bind the clothing to the character. As you can see now, if you move the character, this clothing is staying in place, but we can fix that very easily. First of all, select all the clothing, then last the armature, press Ctrl B with automatic weights, and now you can see. The objects are bound to the armature, and if we pause the character now, the clothing is moving as well. Now it's not 100% perfect, for that you would have to do a lot of manual weight painting to make it really perfect for animations and stuff like that. I will leave some very good weight painting tutorials in the description below, but for this tutorial we are only using poses, so this is totally fine. By the way, this works best if your rest position is the same as the pause position, or at least they are very similar. Otherwise you might have to adjust it a bit again. Now if you go back into T-Pose for example, we can see it's working pretty well. We would only have to adjust this part a little bit. But now if we go into a more complex pose, like this one, you can see there are a few things that we have to fix, but that's also very easy to do, so no problem. It's the same process as before. Just smooth some areas out and use the elastic deform brush, and just drag the parts that are intersecting with the body into place. You can also try out some different brushes, like the cloth brush, if you want to have more wrinkles, for example. Now 
Now if you have something like this and you can't really move away the hood from the main hoodie, you can go back into edit mode, select the hood, go into scope mode and give it another face set, turn on face sets, and now you can move the hood on its own. Now the same thing for the pants. Again, use the X-ray to check how much space you have. Now here you can see I would like to fix this. For that we need to make our own face hits again. Again, go to edit mode, select these parts, back into scope mode, face sets, and now we can move these independently. We can't change this asset because it has a mirror modifier. Let's just apply this one. Press Ctrl A. And now we can edit this one as well. Again, I'm only using the Elastic Deform brush and smooth with holding shift. And there we go. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments or join the Discord and we will help you there.